what is going on ladies and gentlemen my name is equal espresso and today call of duty actually dropped some more stuff on their website and i posted something up on my channel about 12 hours ago it was around midnight to 2 in the morning that i got it up and at that point in time we had two clues being the coordinates 10.480891 negative 66 0.903648, which led to Caracas, Venezuela, and then we also had the etched out uh, square with the number 18384, which everybody thinks to be tungsten. Now, on top of that, today we are given a flag, Dia de la Federación, el 15 de junio, and in Spanish, that is Day of the Federation, the 15th of June. Now, we'll talk about that here in a little bit because I do think that I have a great angle on a possible campaign storyline dealing with all these pictures, but I'm not trying to jump the gun, so the next thing we are given is a quote, you start to forget the things you should remember. And this puzzled a lot of people, it really did, and granted, I don't know that this is 100% true, but it makes logical sense if you want to think of it in terms of previous Call of Duties and historical standpoints. So let's take the coordinates in Caracas that were given, and we're going to use this as an anchor point. This is going to set the storyline that I have my angle on, my theory, my thoughts. And now, if you go back to what June 15th is in Caracas slash Venezuela history. Well, that is the day that the Decreto de Guerra a Muerte was decreed, and what that is was the decree of war to the death. What's crucial to know about this time frame is that Venezuela was trying to gain its independence from Spain, and at this point in time, they wanted to make it world-renowned and known that this wasn't a civil war, but an active war declaring independence from Spain. And now what the decree of war to the death was actually legalizing was the murder and slaughter of anybody of Spanish descent in Venezuela. So now here's where it all starts to tie in. Simón Bolívar, the separatist leader leading this, set up the Second Republic, and the capital of the Second Republic in Venezuela, well, that was, you guessed it, in Caracas. And what's even more interesting still is the fact that the Second Republic called themselves the Confederation of Venezuela, hence Dia de la Federación. Historically, this makes perfect sense to be a tie-up into the June 15th date that we are given. And now here is where it all starts to tie in with Call of Duty Ghosts. Well, you start to forget the things you should remember. That quote well, that is really reminiscent of a quote that to me was taught in 7th grade history class that really stuck out and really speaks the truth if you look historically. Those that do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. That quote from George Santayana's Reason and Common Sense Volume 1, well, that is very reminiscent of you start to forget the things you should remember. And my theory for this is that somewhere in the Call of Duty Ghost campaign, a flashpoint in Caracas, an uprising of the Venezuelan people will have happen again, and this is one of the main plot twists in the storyline itself, one of the main flashpoints that you are reacting to, per se, in Call of Duty Ghosts. And if this is true, well, I think we can see where Infinity Ward's love for controversy will come into play, because in the revolution following Dia de la Federacion, well, in February of 1814, the decree of war to the death was still in effect, and that meant that killing any Spaniard on site was legal, 100% legal, no charges on you. And what Bolivar did, he actually ordered the massacre of 886 Spanish prisoners in Caracas. Now, what I believe is going to happen is going to be an uprising, a riot, a revolution in Caracas and Venezuela as a whole on whatever may major body of government that is still around if we're not seeing a post-apocalyptic type world. Well, if that is the case, this uprising would be a perfect fit for the you start to forget the things you should remember quote. And now here's the thing that plays in with the fourth and final picture in my theory. If there is some sort of revolution and uprising in Caracas that is a main event in the actual storyline itself, well, you might have missed the update to the actual picture, the etched out numbering. There is now a dot, a period, in between 183 and 84. This is now perfectly the atomic mass of the element tungsten. And now where does this come into play? Well, in my theory, I'm going to say that this militia, this uprising, these group of forces that are trying to band together either as the protagonists or the antagonists, I have a feeling that they're going to be going after tungsten rounds, which are armor piercing. They're used to pierce Kevlar, armor, other sorts of protective, heavy-duty 
ballistics like that, they are used to pierce that and get through it and penetrate and kill. Realistically, this makes sense because any militia, any opposing force would kill to have something that can pierce through almost anything, something that can be that deadly and effective despite what any defense your opponent may have. So that is my theory, an uprising in Caracas, reminiscent to the days of Dia de la Federacion back in 1883, something that coincides with the past, like this quote, you start to forget the things you should remember, and then a tungsten arms race in essence, and then this would lead to a revolt, a riot, our storyline of sorts. That has been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Ecola Espresso. I hope you guys did enjoy my theory. Again, it's just a theory. It is no way uh, in any way confirmed or anything like that. This is just my thoughts, some logical thinking, some digging that I did. That I want to hear from you guys what you think. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for all the newest in Call of Duty information and ghost news. Because as soon as something comes up, I'm going to be bringing you guys a video of it within the next couple hours. Explaining my thoughts, my figures on it. So if you're interested in more Call of Duty Ghost content, well, be sure to subscribe. And any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're an OG like that are greatly appreciated. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. All likes and comments are greatly appreciated as well and really do help out. But thank you guys so much once again for watching. My name has been Ecoli Espresso. Take care and as always, have a nice day. Peace.